it's not enough just to kind of see some content on the stage and try to play it safe. What we want is work that is epic and uh, imaginative, bold and visceral. Where the audience can share this experience and this energy and this heartbeat of theatre again. Amelia is a story of Amelia Bassano, who was a poet in her own right um, and lived in the 1600s alongside Shakespeare. And of course, as a woman, and more importantly, as a woman of colour, she couldn't have her works published um, in that time. She sort of lived her values and and strayed right outside her lane and changed what was possible. And that's an incredibly inspiring story for any time, but it is absolutely a story for right now. It was commissioned originally by the Globe Theatre and it's told by 13 women on stage and three musicians. 16 women, all races, ethnicities, women with disability, women who are different sizes and different ages. Celebrating life, celebrating women, celebrating diversity. It's playful and joyous and funny and direct and also deeply moving. Amelia is a large-scale work. A crew of 10, a cast of 16, and a big production, and something that we haven't tackled before, and we need help and assistance to get it there. Without the support of Art Centre Melbourne, Amelia would not be making it to the main stage. And what I feel uh, most grateful for is that they've said, we want you to do it, and we'll assist you. And. Um, that's never happened before in our 19 years of theatre producing. If 16 people is the tip of the iceberg in a work like Amelia, I want you to imagine the knock-on of all of the creatives, plus all of the art centre, right through to front of house, bar staff, uh, back of house, dresses and um, ushers, all of those people benefit. I mean, we're so grateful, uh, honestly, to people who invest in theatre, you know, who value and see the importance of what we do. You know, it's, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. I feel eternally grateful and so excited for your support and to share this journey because it's going to be an incredible journey. So when we are able to tell an audience this extraordinary story and we are able to do that into a sold out space at Art Centre Melbourne, I am going to cry. <laughs> I'm going to cry for real. <laughs> <laughs>